The stock market is really jumping around this week. Let's bring in Scott Bauer, the CEO of Prosper Trading Academy. Scott. We've got some added extra volatility back into the marketplace after you know Jerome Powell's words the other day about the economy being in pretty bad shape and perhaps not a recovery like we're about to see, you know, people were expecting, not a V-shaped recovery. So that has definitely added volatility back into the marketplace, but that really coincided with where the VIX traded down to at the end of last week and early this week, almost down right to that 200 day moving average, which was a very big support level. So we've seen the market come off a little bit from the big rally, but you know that's a healthy thing for the marketplace here. We, we really came pretty quickly uh, on the rally back to the upside. Th this is just a, a nice concerted sell-off. I don't personally believe this is going to be anything you know near what we had six weeks ago or towards the end of March. And, and you look at some of the stocks that have reported earnings and Cisco is one of them. Cisco had great metrics, great numbers. If they had reported last week when the market was really off to the races and everything was going up, Cisco may have been up 10% or so, but because we're in a, a little bit more cautious risk-off environment now due to you know what Jerome Powell talked about, we're not seeing Cisco appreciate as much. It's real that really lends itself to the psychology of the marketplace here. So, you know, over the next week, two weeks or so, we may see some skittish trade. We may see higher volatility, the VIX trading in the mid to high 30s, maybe even higher uh, based on, on what the, the current market activity is. So I'd be very careful, uh, you know, bullish, bearish positions, whatever it is, keep things closer to the vest over the next couple of weeks or so. Thank you for that Trader Talk, Scott. For more Business First AM, check us out on social media. We're on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter, and go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.